Hey, this is Doug, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Interactive Approach template. Let's go. The Interactive Approach template is used to create animated content utilizing the distance between the user and the object to trigger additional animations. First, open Lens Studio and choose the Interactive Approach template. This will load the template into Studio. The template already has some content inside of it to give you an idea of how the lens might look once you have your content hooked up. Feel free to play around in here for a bit if you'd like. First, locate the object with the label Replace Me in the Objects panel and remove it. Do the same for the content in the Resources panel with the label Remove Me. Now we're ready to bring in our animated content. Go to File, Import, and import the FBX you exported from your 3D package. Let's place the imported object under the World Object Controller. This will parent it to the controller. You may need to scale up or down your object to fit inside the Touch Collision box. The Touch Collision box represents what users will interact with when manipulating your object around on the surface. Next, we'll import the textures we exported with our FBX file. Right-click in the Resources panel and select Add, Import Files, and grab all of the textures you want to pull in. For this template, we'll be using a PBR material. To create a new material, right-click in the Resources panel and choose Add, Material, PBR. Next, apply the new material to your object's mesh. If you have multiple objects using the same material, you can select them all and set them at once. With the new material selected, we'll fill in all the fields with the textures we imported. Let's start hooking up our animations. Select your World Object Controller from the Objects panel. Under Animation Settings, locate the field labeled Animation Mixer and link the Animation Mixer component found on your imported object. Next, we'll define our Idle Animation. If you select your object with the Animation Mixer component, you should see a list of animations that came in with your object. These are the animations you'll use when defining your animations on the World Object Controller. Enter the name of the animation you'd like to use for your object's idle state in the field labeled Idle Anim Layer. Now, locate the fields under Approach Animation Settings. Approach Start Anim Layer represents the animation to play when a user gets close enough, and the Approach Loop Anim Layer is the animation that will play when the Approach Start Anim completes. You can optionally play audio files in step with your animations. Below each animation field is an associated anim audio field. Once you hit the reset button in the preview panel, you should see your character animating. The trigger radius determines how close a user must get to the object in order to trigger the approach animations. There's no magic number here, so you'll need to experiment with this to find the range that's right for your experience. We can also fine-tune our Manipulate component if we need to. From here, we can control dragging, scaling, and rotation. We can also control the minimum and maximum distance the object can move from the camera, as well as the min and max scale. Next, we'll apply Shadows. Select the mesh from your imported object. If you have more than one mesh, you can select all of them at once. Select Caster from the Shadow Mode drop-down menu. You may want to adjust the density of your shadow, and you can do that with the Shadow Density slider. Finally, let's preview our lens in Snapchat. To do this, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. 
Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Depending on your network, this may take up to 30 seconds to connect. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens inside of Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Have fun creating custom experiences with Lens Studio. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.